The plains that stretch north of Clew Bay and west of Loch Con rise quickly into the foothills and mountains of the Neffen Beg range that stretch from here to the Atlantic, its most bleak and barren bogland interspersed with intermittent farming. The people scattered and isolated. Farming or working in any way here is not easy and those who must live here often feel the rest of the world has forgotten them. Many of those who can't get work here have had to leave. Their sentimental and family attachments remain behind here in Keener on the slopes of Neffen Bay. This young couple came back from Coventry to the parish to get married, one of only three weddings in Keenock Church in a year. But the most important and the saddest part of this sentimental journey is that after the photographs, the celebrations and the reunion, they go back to Coventry. More heart and more people gone. The story of trying to keep a viable number of people in a place always comes back to children and schools not only in Keenock, but in most areas of scattered population. To provide greater facilities here in Keenock, three schools were amalgamated into one of just over 60 pupils. This makes it into a three-teacher school with the additional facilities which increased numbers should give. But how can it maintain its numbers? Over 20 years in this area, there's been a 20% decrease. So keeping up numbers is achieved by bringing pupils from former schools and outlying districts by school bus. But the bus will not call to a pick-up point unless there are at least eight pupils. And some areas can't produce this number and thereby don't get to school. In this forest area, distances are vast, isolated, rough and lonely. But people still have to live and work here. And school is more and more difficult to get to for children like this little girl, Mary Kilroy. It's five, six between five and six miles out to the school. It's a wild mountain road, as you see, you know. As you know, it's a very, very wild place, especially in wintertime. So we can't, the van just, just won't come for this, this, this little girl now. And there is a few more, two or three more, you know, ready to go to school. Still, they won't come because there isn't uh, enough for the van, for the school van. How far would she have to walk in either direction? to get um, to where she could be picked up? Well, uh, if she goes to Newport, she'd have to walk two, two mile or two mile and a quarter. Uh, the other side, to Kina, she'd have to walk uh, a half mile if the van had come there, you know, to the, to the main, to, as far as the main road. Yeah. We're here in the palestry, and there's a few gates on the way, but, uh, we, you know, bad weather, she's, she's too young to, to, to get out to the, to the van. It, it doesn't seem all that much, maybe, particularly to an older generation, to walk <coughs> that far. Well, we did walk to school one time, but uh, we were probably old-fashioned when we went to school, and we didn't get education. I mean, we liked education. We, we, we couldn't just get there every day because the, the place is too wide. You know, bad weather. You couldn't have tried out in, in, in bad weather. Yeah, you'd have to. I'm working then. I can't. If I if I have to go out, out to meet a van would have with this little girl, I have to lose my job. I have to, to knock off my job, and I and I want to, you know, the time is in. I have to keep my week's wages up. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I depend on my week's wages. Mary, do you mind not going to school? I don't care. You don't care. Hmm. Would you she like likes, to go? She does like to, because she's always talking of going to school. Would you, you like know? to go? She's a, she's a bit Ooh. bashful. What? Ah, you lost your tongue. Would you like to go? Hmm? You would. Mrs. Kilroy, there must be other difficulties when you're as isolated as this. Uh, how do you find it uh, as, as somebody who has to mind a house and children? Well, the most thing I miss is the electric light. And, you, you know... Every other house in the neighbourhood has it. They have electric light and television and kind of fridge and everything, and we haven't missed the light very much for children. You would, I suppose, yeah. Especially now for the winter.